Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at Git commit. So we're gonna take a look at a series of Git components. Uh, in this course, um, it's not really a focus on Git skills, but more so GitHub, but I wanna make sure you still have some Git skills. So after we go through uh, some of these things, I'll then do like a really quick and dirty uh, Git uh, command crash course, okay? So a git commit represents incremental changes to a code base represented with a git tree, so a graph, at a specific time. So here we can see that git tree. Um, this is in GitHub, so it's not the full representation. When we go into uh, VS Code, we, will, we can see a better representation of it. There are external tools for that. But for the most part, the idea is that you have um, uh, you have git commits that are over a historical period of time. Then we have our uh, git commit. Here is one within uh, GitHub that I clicked through and I looked at, okay? And from here, a git commit contains additional modifications, deletions of files, uh, additions and deletions of file contents, and it's not the whole file themselves. And this is a strategy to make the uh, commits efficient because if you if you were to store full copies in every single commit, your repo would get really big, really fast. I'm gonna repeat that again, and we'll talk about the contents of uh, commit files here just shortly. Uh, each commit has a SHA hash that acts as an ID, so it looks something like this. We can use this uh, to check out very specific commits, which is very useful. I wanna repeat, Git does not store the whole files in each commit, but rather the state of changes. This greatly reduces the file size. So uh, so for uh, developers, to the developer you, it will look like a whole file, but really when you store it in, in uh, your Git tree, it's not gonna be like that. Um, so what are the components of a Git commit? We talked a little bit about that, but we have that commit hash. That is a unique SHA-1 hash identifier for the commit. I don't know if it's really SHA-1 because I'm not really familiar with all the different types of SHA, but it's SHA something. Uh, we have the author information. So we have name and email. Often you have to configure Git to say what email you're utilizing in the name. So that's attached to the commit message uh, or the commit itself. You have the commit message. This is the description of uh, the, uh, the commit. This is, we're gonna be spending a lot of time when you are making commits because you wanna write good commit messages. You have a timestamp. So this is the date and time when the commit was made. Um, you have the parent commit hash. This is a SHA-1 hash of the commit this commit is based on. I don't really understand that because I've never had to bother with the parent one, but it is something that's in there. And the snapshot of the content, a snapshot of the project at the time of the commit, not the actual files, but references to them and the changes that are occurring. So if you had VS Code open and we were taking a look at, a, um, at uh, changes that we have staged, so they haven't been committed yet, but you can see here we have uh, the commit message, it says remove old comments. We have files changed that we plan on putting in the uh, commit. And you can see some deletions there on the right-hand side, we can have additions. So hopefully it's very clear what a, uh, a git commit is. You are going to need to know these basic commands and we will get a little bit practice. Again, quick and dirty. This is not a full-blown git course, but it'll be enough to get you by so that you can do the GitHub stuff. So we have a bunch of stuff there like git add, git remove, git commit message with the, the hyphen m flag to add a message, hyphen a to automatically stage all track changes. If you have a commit and you haven't pushed it up uh, to your, uh, your remote repo, you can amend it. Um, you can create empty commits. Uh, you can specify the author if you need to. You can check out a very specific commit. But yeah, that is git commits in a nutshell, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.